Hey everybody, welcome back. It's your favorite Cuban German. It's Rosalie. Welcome to the ultimate world music reaction channel, exploring music from all around the world. And today we're exploring a very famous band from America called Journey. Uh, shout out today goes to Troy Dawson. Thank you for your suggestion, buying copies and supporting this channel. I am going to check out the song Mother Father by Journey. I know their big hit, Don't Stop Believing. I sung it, I've sung it so many times with the wedding band. I did not want to react to it because I've heard it time and time again. I've sung it time and time again. Um, and many of you, I'm sure, know it. Very famous. People seem to love it at weddings. Um, it was released in 81. And they have a big song called Mother Father. I want to check out their live performance from 81 uh, during the Escape Tour. And it's a 2022 remastered version. So hopefully we'll get good audio and good quality, video quality. But let's check out Journey and their song, Mother, Father. And we'll dive into the lyrics and just explore this band together. As always, like, share, subscribe. All the links below. Let's go. Okay, just already total journey vibe, obviously. It's so in neat, the, the piano introduction and then how they build into the rock from there. Steve Perry is the lead singer here and his voice to me um, is just very distinct journey, I feel. Very, very classic rock vibe, that rasp, a lot of strength, great range. Um, we'll, we'll go back a bit and we'll, we'll start over just because it's, uh, it's just neat to see that even here, it has just that journey touch, in my opinion. I've never heard this song before, though. I don't know Mother Father. Got that total 80s vibe going here. What's impressive is still is just his vocal range. I mean, there's these subtle runs he does, the rasp, the strength from the get go, just such a distinct, gifted, skilled voice. It's phenomenal. Classic rock just fits perfectly to this rock vibe. The arrangement of the song, you got your classical, you got your classic, just the, the drums, the electric guitar, the piano. It, to me, that's just like classic, just that has that full 80s vibe, even though they're a tire. I mean, doesn't get 80 -er than that. It's pretty neat. Uh, we'll talk about the lyrics in the end. I'm already pretty profound songwriting. I'm meaningful, and that's always nice to see. Just, we'll talk about them in the end. With dreams in your life, I lost it for life. He dreams in life.
go back a bit. This is phenomenal. Huh? The hair is glorious. Sounded like Jima. <laughs> He's saying dreamer, not Jima. <laughs> Showing off, man. This is nuts.
like I'm done? Nope. Are you done now? Psych. Dang. Beautiful. This is nuts. This is nuts. Journey is incredible. Jonathan Kane on the keyboards. Sheesh, Jonathan. Dang, that was phenomenal. So, okay, where do we begin, y'all? Steve Perry, incredible voice. I'll say it again. Phenomenal. American singer-songwriter. He's referred to as a tenor altino, and he has a very high upper range. Um, somewhere, Some describe his voice somewhere between Sam Cooke and Aretha Franklin. He's been deemed the voice which was uh, coined originally by fellow singer Bon Jovi. And um, he's one of the most famous, well-known voices among rock. Many of you probably already know Journey, like Don't Stop Believing and the like. And he just has this staple voice in classic rock, the perfect voice for classic rock. And um, he was inspired by the likes of Sam Cooke. And um, he has this super flexible upper register. It can just belt so impressively um, in these high octaves, anywhere um, throughout the upper fourth and the lower fifth octave. It's phenomenal. Very, very fitting for this this genre. The whole composition was so amazing. I mean, I like I said, I know Don't Stop Believing. I didn't want to bring that to this channel because I've just sung it more than, than um, I can remember. And it's so well known by everybody. But I'd never heard Mother and Father. So thank you so much, Troy, for that suggestion. This performance was phenomenal. From the way that it started with that piano composition, just giving us that journey vibe building into the rock from the drums to the electric guitars those electric guitar solos were phenomenal I mean the precision and that running up and down I still can't get over Steve Perry's voice it was Jonathan Kane on the on the piano that outro that final just composition it was just awesome if you're at a concert like that and you get to experience that something you might not hear on a typical you know on the the radio track or the album necessarily you get this live experience just the talent of this of his piano playing skills phenomenal um and the way that steve perry was belting those high notes the runs he would do mind-blowing the lyrics are very beautiful this is a very profound song actually it's uh, it speaks of um let's just look at the lyrics real quick she sits alone an empty stare a mother's face she wears where did she go wrong the fight is gone lord help this broken home hey mother father sister come back try and believe in which is interesting because of their big hit don't stop believing hey mother father dreamer that's where i heard jima earlier would have also been fitting right all the family members don't you know that i'm alive for you i'm your seventh son and when lightning strikes the family have faith believe interesting again because of their big song don't stop believing this idea of hope and believing um it's an interesting uh just looking at some comments uh some say that this is uh, you know different metaphors reflecting of a broken home which would fit the mother sitting there weeping asking herself where did she go wrong perhaps the family ended that ended up in divorce su suffering if we keep looking at the lyrics it says don't you know I'm alive for you? With dreams, he died, lost his pride. He drinks his life away. It Was this the dad? Did it end up in divorce or in death? Someone dying of this alcohol uh, addiction, losing their prides, dream, dreams dying, um, losing pride, drinking his life away. One photograph in broken glass. It should not end this way. Very sad, implying perhaps maybe the father was an alcoholic or this, this um, seventh son now. And drinking their life away, lost pride, a shattered, a shattered um, one photograph in broken glass, right? If you think of a home and photographs of family members in the pictures, this photograph now shattered, broken glass, the family perhaps destroyed. It should not end this way. Through bitter tears and wounded years, those ties of blood were strong. Family ties, right? It says that the saying goes, blood is thicker than water, as in family is thicker than other people, friends or other people out there bitter tears, wounded years, that tie, those family ties being strong. So much to say, those yesterdays, so now don't you turn away. Perhaps the songwriter's desire, the seventh son's desire to mend his family, telling his family, don't turn away, we've, we've got to talk about this. There's so much to say, all the things that have pa happened in the past. Uh, and then it even says, I'm your seventh son, and when lightning strikes, the family 
have faith and believe. This idea maybe of this son saying, I want to fix this. I want to make it right. Believe. Let's not give up. We can restore this family, perhaps. Uh, someone commented uh, when it comes to the song meeting on songmeetings.com and said, the idea of a seventh son is from Norse mythology or something like that. So I looked it up and sure enough, the seventh son of a seventh son is a concept from folklore uh, where it says that they had special powers given given to them to a son. So to qualify as the seventh son of a seventh son, you must be the seventh male child born in an unbroken line of with no female siblings. And I guess um, to the father who himself is the seventh male child born. So a seventh son to the seventh son. And I guess there's this mythology that then there were special powers. So perhaps... The songwriter implying, I'm the seventh son, I have special powers, I can restore this. Maybe this child's plea, um, I want to be special, I can fix this. Really profound song. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this song, what you think about the lyrics. What does it mean to you? How do you interpret this art? As always, like, share, subscribe if you want to become a patron or buy coffee to say thanks. All the links below. I hope you enjoyed this ride. I'll see you on the next one. Ayo! Hey,